The Mountain Empire League is a fictional novel about the real racial struggles faced by black baseball players in the 1950s. And this morning we want to welcome Marshall Adisman, the author of the Mountain Empire League, to daytime to share with us more about this book that took 12 years of research to complete. Good morning, Marshall. Good morning, Chris. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Kind of give us a synopsis of the book. The story has to do, and as you mentioned, it's, it's, it's fictional, but it is based on a lot of truth. Um, when, after Jackie Robinson broke the color line in the major leagues, there was still a great resistance to having uh, African-American players play baseball. And a lot of young players, young men wanted to play. So they'd get signed uh, by major league teams and sent to the minor leagues just like we have nowadays. Some minor league, some major league teams uh, had minor league teams in the deep south. It was difficult to send them there, but after a while it became a necessity. You, you, that was the level that they needed to start out their playing. Um, there was a true incident that took place, is what I had read a number of years ago, about a minor league in South Carolina that signed a young man. And after about three weeks, he quit and went home. And why did he quit? because the, the hatred that came out of the stands from opposing dugouts from members of his own team just made it too, too difficult for him to continue, so he went home. And when I read this, I thought, you know, there's, there might be a story here, and so I started doing some more research, read a lot of things that players have written, famous players like Joe Morgan, Kurt Flood, Bill White, fellows who, who went through it and eventually uh, succeeded in the major leagues. Um, but they wrote about their difficult days in the minors, and I thought, this is a basis for, for a book. So I created a league, the Mountain Empire League. I created uh, cities for the league and players for the league, including uh, the hero, whose name is Odeby Daniels. Uh, he's the young man who gets signed. He's, playing, he's seen playing uh, in an industrial league in Asheville, um, and they, this one team sees him, and they like him, and they sign him. And then it's the effort to get his contract approved. And after it is approved, the, the effort to, of him to try to succeed in minor league baseball. He's only 21, 22 years old, but he's, uh, you know, he's, he's a baby compared to many of the other players. And he has to face all of this animosity. Uh, he gets thrown at. He, they, they try to hurt him in all sorts of ways. Uh, and there's one scene where he gets chased after a game <clears throat> by, excuse me, by people w with bats, and they're not trying to do batting practice there. <laughs> um, they're trying to take care of him. So um, the whole story is about his effort and the team's effort and the league's effort to integrate, which of course eventually, over a period of a number of years, the minor leagues totally integrated. But there was a real struggle in the early 1950s, and that's what this book is about. When you want folks to read this book, what message do you want them to take with them when they finish reading it? Uh, first of all, I hope they enjoy it. And secondly, I want them to understand that while baseball and all of our sports are integrated, uh, in the greater country, there is still a lot of work to be done. Um, the book is a little bit of a parable about America, and I'd like them to look at that and think about how what the, our, this young man and all the people in the book went through is still in effect today. Even though this book takes place in the 1950s, there's a lot of parallels to 2024 America. I'd like people to think about that and maybe do something to try to change it. All right. Marshall? Appreciate you stopping by today and sharing this story I, with us. Thank you for having me. The Mountain Empire League by Marshall Adisman is available at Amazon.com and BarnesandNoble.com as well. We'll be back with more daytime coming up in just a few moments. <laughs>